Hey guys, it's Idara. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So today's video is going to be about the contraceptive implant. So if you're considering getting it, here are the things I feel like you need to know before. And I'm also going to be sharing my experience with one. I had one in for three years. I got it done in France and I took it out in America. And I'm just going to share like what happens. Take note. So the contraceptive implant is a small plastic rod that's inserted into your forearm and I still have a scar from where mine was. Um, I'm gonna get to it, the lady just practically butchered my arm. And basically this small plastic rod, it's the size of a match, releases a hormone called progestin, I think that's how it's pronounced, Proge progestin, 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 that sounds right. And what this hormone does is it, it prevents pregnancies in two ways. So the first way is it thickens the mucus of your cervix, so it prevents sperm from swimming up to the egg. It also prevents ovulation, which means it prevents the egg from leaving your ovaries. And with no egg, there can be no fertilization, so no pregnancy. And also, once you get it in, it starts working a week after, and it's 99% effective, more than 99% effective at preventing pregnancy. But do remember that it doesn't prevent STD, so you still need to be careful and safe during intercourse. So before you can get the contraceptive implant, you need to go to your gynecologist or your doctor and they're gonna see if you are eligible to get one. Personally, I always forgot to take my pill. It was a safer option for me since I was always forgetting it. So they're gonna ask you why you think it's the best option for you. They're gonna ask you about your some lifestyle habits before they're gonna give you the green light to get one. I got mine in France, so I, my, I saw my gynecologist. She gave me a prescription to get the kit. So basically, I purchased the kit as well as the numbing patch that I would put on my arm two hours before the process that would numb the area. <sighs> the thing is, when I got the kit, I didn't open it because I didn't want to touch it or like ruin it or whatever. Um, when she took it out, you guys, my, I don't know if it's like this in America, but in France, it was like a gun that would like shoot thing into my arm and I was so freaking scared because I'm just, I'm scared of needles in general, even just like small vaccination needles like freak me out. So when I saw that, I was like, oh my God. I didn't look at the whole process, I was just so scared, but I heard it. So um, there was a pressure when the needle was going into my arm and I did hear the shooting part, like I heard, you know, and I, I, I didn't feel pain, but I just felt that something was going on in my arm. So don't worry you guys, it wasn't painful for me. Um, I think in America they don't use the numbing patch, they actually give you a, an injection, a numbing injection. So. Yeah, if you're scared of needles, that might be like scary as well. The cost in France is $106 and like 65% of it is covered by healthcare. Whereas in America, I read that to get it in can cost between zero to like $1,300. But with healthcare, once again, it can cost little to nothing. So once it's in, you're gonna have to go to your gynecologist three months after just for a checkup to see if everything's going okay, to see how your body's reacting to it. There is a period of six months where your body is adapting to the contraceptive implant. My first six months were not that big a deal. Um, I, my period was irregular, it, I would get spotting at random times of the month. But some people can experience like a whole month of having a period, like a non-stop period, or like spotting, like me, they can experience headaches, nausea, and your period's just gonna be very irregular. One in three women don't experience periods at all during these three years, which I think is crazy. I never had painful periods, but my periods used to last a week, like, you know, the average period would, but once I was on the, once I had the implant in, my periods were like four days long maximum, like they were really short. I would get a per my period and I wouldn't feel any, I was like, oh, I have my period, you know, I knew it'd be quick. It was really light, there was no pain, it's just such an easy thing, you know, I was just having the best time of my life as a woman. Some women don't even have periods, imagine not having a period for three years, like how amazing that is. But I am sort of iffy about, you know, being against mother nature like that. But hey, that's a whole other story. The contraceptive implant causes weight gain, most especially in people who are already overweight. So people who are overweight, they're advised not to keep the implant in for 
more than three years. If you are overweight, you should talk to your gynecologist about the weight gain. See if it's something that might happen to you. It's always important to discuss everything with your gynecologist. So as you're watching this video, it may be a good idea to have a pen and paper and take notes for possible questions you might have. And having a professional tell you what's best for you rather than just a video would probably be a good idea. My specific brand of contraceptive implant was three years long. There are some that are four years long, but um, after the three or four years, you can replace it right away with another one. Once you take it out, you can be fertile like right away, so do be careful with that. And you might experience acne, some women experience acne, but I didn't experience abnormal acne. Like My acne was okay. So it would come around the time like my period was gonna come so I'd get like a few spots, like three spots, you know, which was quite a lot for me. Okay, so now that I've shared some of the important general information I think you should know, um, you know, to give you an idea of how it works, I'm just gonna share my personal experience with the implant. I got it while I was in university until 2017, early 2017. And um, yeah, it did have a major impact on my mood and I only realized that towards the end of having it in, you know, I just associated my mood change to being in university and to the stress of university. I'm already an introvert and an introvert doesn't mean like you're anti-social, you know, it means like you just recharge when you're alone, you can have a social life, I did have a social life for a while, but um, while I had the implant in, I did realize that everything was amplified, so I was becoming a lot less social. I would start skipping class for like a day, and then it would be like for a week, I'd stay in bed for weeks. It just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And I'm surprised I graduated because I really did the bare minimum in school. I didn't link it to the implant, you know, because it's something that came gradually, it didn't happen at once, so I wasn't like, oh, I got the implant in, so, you know, my mood has changed. No, the beginning of 2017 was when I was supposed to get it out, right? And that was like when my depression peaked. I was actually in New York during that time and it was really bad. I was crying for no reason. I was even antisocial with my family. I was just in a really, really bad place. It wasn't always like that my whole life. It's just something that started once I got the implant in and just gradually got worse and worse to the point where I realized one day, okay, you have depression. Beginning of 2017, like basically the expiration date of the implant, I broke out like crazy. My whole face was covered in acne, like you could barely see skin and it was just so irritated. And so I was like depressed, I was like frustrated with my acne, I didn't know what was going on. And it was just all these things made me think, maybe, really please. And all this just made me realize, maybe it's the implant. So I went to get the implant taken out. I couldn't wait to go back to France to get it out and talk to your gynecologist, ask her if she's um, had experience with the contraceptive implant because that's one thing I learned here the hard way, that it's something that's a lot more rare here than it is in Europe. I went to this gynecologist um, my mom's gynecologist she took me to her to hers anyway it was basically surgery so she gave me a shot to numb the area it was numb but I could feel the tugging the pulling it took so much time so much more time than I expected she said that it had kind of lodged into my arm and like my arm had started growing around it and she I could hear the scissors cutting through my flesh and my skin it was like I didn't want to look. I did glance real quick and see blood everywhere and I was like, oh my god, she's butchering my arm. I got the implant out and I still had the acne. I was still feeling depressed months after the implant was out. So I went back to France, let's say five months after I got the implant taken out. I started seeing my acne go away, that I just started feeling better. I started just looking better and so I don't know if it's because you still have hormones the hormones in your system I don't think so so I don't know if my acne was linked to the implant but I did do a video on how I got rid of my acne so I started using acne.org literally I started seeing results a few days after I started using the, the acne.org did you want to eat? 
Yeah. I want mozzarella. That's it? And I want it very cheesy. Till today, I don't know what caused that acne. If it was like my extreme depression that was like reflecting on my skin. If if the if the depression was linked to the implant, I don't even know because I still kind of have depression. I don't know, but it's not as bad as then. I have no idea, you guys. Um, I do feel like I did have slight depression before getting the implant, and maybe the implant just amplified everything, and you know, gradually with time. So. If you're, you are thinking of getting the implant, um, do tell your gynecologist if you feel like you have depression, you know, do tell your gynecologist that if about your weight, you know, just have a discussion. So yeah, this, which is why I said take notes from my experience and maybe it might inspire some questions for you guys based on your lives, you know. Overall, it did serve its purpose. I did have a satisfying experience, I should say. It's just more towards the end that like my morale and my skin got really bad. So yeah, I hope this was useful somehow. Um, I would. I don't know. I don't know if I would do it again. Uh, I think I'd rather stick to the pill and just be more responsible. So yeah, so that's my experience. And yeah, obviously this should not be your main source of information before getting it. Um, I just hope that this video would inspire your questions for you to ask your gynecologist before getting it or just to give a general idea of what the contraceptive implant is if you didn't even know what it was. So just so you know you have more options out there. And comment down below if you have questions on my experience, if you have questions on the contraceptive implant. So yeah, also if you have had the contraceptive implant, let me know how your experience was, if it was good, if it was positive, negative, and um, if you had the same reactions as I did, if you went through like depression, if you got bad acne, let me know. Maybe it'll even you know clear things up like for me, help me understand my experience even more. So. Yeah, thanks for watching this video and see you guys in my next one. Bye! <laughs>